Hey, what's up everybody? Joe Daniels back. And I'm going to do a little review on something uh, that I've been hearing about for a long time and I thought it would be pretty cool. Anyway, let's see what this guy is. Before you ask me why the hell I have a ball, I want to show you what it is. It is the Sornex Center Mass Bell. Pretty interesting. Uh, this is, I got a couple of them. Got a couple 20s and 35 just to see because um, what I've thought about these things is um, I thought a lot of interesting things about them. But biggest thing that you can figure out is to try them out. So what my favorite thing to do with this guy so far has been to use it as a Tabata. I do it every single you know time I do my intense uh, high intensity cardio stuff. So anyway, so what I've got here is it going to do two minutes of warm up a little bit and then uh, make sure I'm nice and fluid and after that I'm going to do basically snatches and the thing is I'm used to using let me see over here this is a 26 pound kettlebell very similar size and diameter uh, as you can tell here's the difference of when I hold hold them so, you can tell, plus it looks freaking cool. But anyway, uh, if it's not going to do what I want, what I expect of it, it's not really worth having, but so far it's been pretty cool. So anyway, if I do kettlebell snatch, which is that, is what I do for competition, and this is the position I need to be, it takes a minute to get to the position. Okay, so snatches actually give you a little bit of rest. So... My thought is with the center mass bell, we're going to try some uh, Tabata training. So here goes, a couple minutes warm up, you're going to listen to it, you might hear the dogs snoring behind you. I'm going to start, first thing I'm going to do is probably do some hip work and put on my back, just focus on engaging glutes. Do some tricep stretches you can probably do some pretty good halos obviously a curl or two <laughs> anyway um, so I'm going to do probably some single leg deadlifts actually feels really good in there Here's uh, my surgery knee. See how it feels. Okay. Now this one I wouldn't recommend, but working on my grip, grabbing basically side to side. Uh, maybe some kneeling presses. Gonna watch out for the fan. That's another thing about kettlebells is I almost take out my ceiling when it comes to things like this. So some swings. Now there's a big difference when it comes to the center mass bell and the kettlebells. So I'll just switch hand hand. And you do have to swing deeper because the handle is inside versus higher. So, <laughs> ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, the other side. So it's basically eight rounds of this. It's 
Set down carefully each time. You can go a lot faster than with kettlebell snatch. I'm not going to tear up my hands. It's actually so fast that it's hard to time my breathing for anatomical breathing like kettlebell. And to check and see how many reps I feel like I'm getting Anywhere from 9 to 12. Oh, it's going fast. There's 11. It's only 35 pounds, it doesn't need to be a lot. And there's 12. Couple more rounds. Definitely starting to feel it here. Ah, uh, so is it? That's eight of them. Cool down. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. Maybe some plank stuff, maybe some rotational. Um, it's awesome on the wrist. Working on the strength of your wrist. Um, more curls, more curls, more curls. More curls, more curls, and more curls. It's insane how badly that makes you want to do that. Um, tricep extensions. A little different, we still, this is kind of pushing on the wrist, but feels like a hammer. Presses, it's it's right there. That's the thing. Excuse me, sir. If you know where your hand is, you know where that weight is. It's very interesting. I really I have nothing against any other weights, but I feel there's really no reason for dumbbells after I've used this. Um, they make them up, you know, right now I've seen like 20s, 35s, 50s, 70s from Sorenex. I know Rogue has similar. 
got a little a little sweat going um so now i feel like i could do that probably every day um like i said a bunch more stuff are gonna be coming up um feeling once i start feeling how this thing works you know exercises that i can do there's exercises that i can do a lot better than with the kettlebell there's exercises that I can't do that I can do with the kettlebell. Namely, long cycle, double clean, like clean and jerk. Snatch, I mean, it's just, like I said, the weight is, right now, my hand is on the bar. So that's the thing, kettlebell. So you can see, when the kettlebell goes between your legs, and I can show you back here. Kettlebell, notice where I'm bending. I'm bending right at my hip. This guy. I have to go much deeper because, so you can see the weight. It's straight across. Here's the bar going straight across. So that kettlebell puts the weight below. Yes, there's a learning curve to kettlebells. There's a learning curve to Olympic lifting. There's a learning curve to everything <coughs> if you're gonna do it to challenge yourself. But these things are pretty awesome when it comes, if I'm using 100 pound dumbbells and I wanna do presses, or let's say 70s, because I may have to make 70s. If I have 70s and I'm right here, I can press from this position up and out. I can press in close. I can press in with the giant dumbbells. They're gonna be this, they're gonna be this wide. So it's a thing. I'm stuck in this plane or I'm out here. Back like that and already that way it's going forward. So I really like this center mass bell so far. Like I said, um, we'll get down I know Donnie Thompson had worked on a prototype of these years ago. I remember seeing it in forums and stuff. Okay, I'm still sweating. So it's good. Um, this is one of the best kettlebells you can buy. Valeri, Valeri Fedorenko Precision. All right. This, whatever this is made of, the steel on the Sorenex feels awesome. Thing, this thing, super solid. They feel very similar. Like I said, check the size. 26 pound kettlebell. Almost identical. Inside. There you can see on the sore next bell, your hand is straight through it. There's a lot of things we could do. Um, pronation, supination, all sorts of stuff with the wrist that it's not going to get in the way of things um pretty interesting anyway so i'll make this into a video and uh throw out some other stuff